<laughs> uh, yeah. Go ahead, David, tell your story. So, I recently, what is it in my head? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the production level on this thing. You know, <laughs> <laughs> What's so. it say? The gay? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I, for, I forget note. what the guy's name is, but there's a, a famous, out. there's like a famous soccer player, like a successful soccer player. George Soros. Uh, I don't think that's his name. No. Um, his wife <laughs> is divorcing him. She filed for divorce and she went to take half of all of his money and his things. Uh, to which she found out that he doesn't own any of it. It's all in his mom's name. Got it. The ultimate prenup. <laughs> right? So Dude, she, how discouraging for her. Like, yeah. I hate him and I'm broke. Yeah. Yeah. That's rough. That's rough. So if like you went to go divorce Nikki and you found out all her stuff. Yeah. Was in her parents. You'd be like, oh man, all that. Oh, this, I, I, psych, all this I love you. Still. Money I'll make. <laughs> <laughs> I love you still, yeah. hun. No, man. I get, who's going to be. And now I don't get free I haircuts. I was just kidding about that stuff. I just, That's like and gold digger insurance. Oh, ha, 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 joking. It was a test. Fajita, man. Psych. You passed with flying Good colors. job. You passed. Good job. Yeah. You see, you're committed. <laughs> well, <laughs> as am I. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> hey, we can bond on it's the. Like, it's, like a level. Trust, it's like an ultimate trust fall. <laughs> We're so dumb. There's gonna be so many people do that now. <laughs> <gasps> I know this song. It's my ringtone. <laughs> it's <laughs> this is my jam. It's a throwback, honestly. All right. Banger the kids would say. <coughs> Episode 49? 49. Same age as David. Sorry. I look good for my age. Yep. First sorry of the night from Dustin. <laughs> what? All right. What do you say? Here we are. Yeah. Three away from a year. And we still have not planned point. anything special. Who nope. thought one year ago from when we first started? Maybe our first, maybe the... Our 52nd episode will be, we can do a Pumba, Pumba, Simba type dedication. Simba. Like yeah. <laughs> na, 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 and then like, oh, catch up, like catch up on your <laughs> finger. Yeah. Get like catch up, just like Simba. Well, that's what Simba. <laughs> the, yeah, we'd have to, we'd, the Sour Patch Kids are more nostalgic to the show, so we should just melt one and then smear it on his forehead. Sandpaper is. Yes. <laughs> the Sour Patch so, rub. <laughs> <laughs> Over his no, uh, Texas really, Pete. Get Texas really Pete. Yes. Oh, like, <laughs> case of, there's oh, like that's better. That's like better. Burns his skin. He has a permanent mark on his yeah. head. All right, enjoy the episode, guys. Here we go. Don't tell me what to do. Yes, sir. There's drums in there. Oof. I initially picked it because it didn't have Sound any, the and then I never got to the chorus. Chorus, and it was like. <gasps> I'm like, oh, that man's rocking out. It's rocking out. Spirits Is grieved. It? Yeah, it's really good. I can't tell. That's like the the worship drum cage. <laughs> like they have like the paint on the uh, the, the drum yeah. kits and just like <laughs> <laughs> splattering everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or like the 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 guy who does like the they're trying to do like the the super deep music video. So that's like. A hose to make it look like it's raining. Yeah. He's yeah. drumming in the rain. Yeah. It's just like a guy with like a like a like an attachment on his hose, just spraying. <laughs> so this is thumb over the the hose, just in that <laughs> mist. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's, like it's coming out thicker in some angled, spots. Angled. It's like really dripping there, like really pouring. <laughs> so Harry, yeah, Harry legs. That's it. Roll the shorts. Yeah. I said, folks, we're gonna have to put out a. Like our clips and YouTube shorts and Instagram reels, we're gonna have to put out with a blur. Yeah, <laughs> over no, no. here he's oh, down not. his fine podcast now PG thirteen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> seriously, we almost did like the throw blanket, but that would have been a weird uh, explanation why yeah. why his hair is wearing a throw blanket. He's, he's chilly guy. I'm just glad he did wear pants. Harrison, yeah. what do you have here with you? Um, so <laughs> yeah, what I'm I brought to the I'm table. I'm wondering what the comments on this is gonna be. <laughs> so yeah. excited. What I brought to the table was. Like, you know, Dustin had the thing where, like, you just see things randomly. We got to make just, a call. You buy it. Yep. Um, we haven't called in a long. We have a lot of numbers. I have more things I found. Yeah. Go ahead, Instagram, Dave. like, just every so often, like, I'm just uh, scrolling through stories, yep. and it'll just be advertisements. 
You don't have Instagram. I don't know why I'm looking at you. Like, you know what I'm talking about. It's because uh, he's 49. Well, you need to explain yeah. to him because we have so it. So when know. you're going through stories, which I is like the, have an the quick bits when you were of people's lives, every so often as you're going through stories, uh, an advertisement will pop up. And some of them are like, wow, this is really cool. Some of them's like, you know, other things aren't as cool. So you're living so I got, proof that those dumb ads work. Yeah, I am living proof. So what I did is I clickbait the I, day I after where Easter. Your, your mind just went. Yeah, I did. You what? idiot. <laughs> I missed Go something. Ahead. So Move I on. missed it too. Um, David will elaborate later. So advertised on my Instagram uh, stories were these. This socks. Is, this this socks don't company. Say, don't say it what I said. The this socks one. company. Yes. And uh, they have a depiction uh, because we're Christians. And I said it really resonated <laughs> with me. Um, Did it. <laughs> Did it resonate? Get to it. So uh, on decal on the socks is uh, our, Lord our, our, Lord, <laughs> our Lord and Savior. Our Lord and Savior. Grittying. <laughs> Doing the gritty. I said, I said that's Gritting sock religious. I don't know what the gritty is. I said, <laughs> no. I said that's sock religious. <laughs> sock religious. <laughs> that's yeah. funny. I like that. Yeah. So uh, Jesus, dude, there it is. Forty nine episodes. Cameron gives us a funny joke. Gritting, Thanks, David. <laughs> it's a pun. On the, the dad puns are, are starting. <laughs> it just looks funny. What's uh, what's <laughs> wait? What's what's the, the disciple. The storm is raging. You know, Jesus is like, you're not afraid. <laughs> Jesus was on the waves. <laughs> Peter was like, Peter was like, Lord, help me. And he's Jesus like, in the gritty. <laughs> he, was, he grittied his hand down towards Peter. <laughs> uh, you should, Jesus was like, you should have been looking at me and not the, the storm it's around you. Dumb, it's like the floss. Like it's, it's like a football floss. celebration. You know, like the... the oh, How where did the gritty Flossing. Come? Yep. It's like that. It's a, fo- it's a football Where's celebration. It, is it a football? Is it like a Fortnite, Fortnite like, dance? Is it a Fortnite dance? No, nah, it's football. It was football. Wow, if only I had a way to figure this yeah, out. Yeah, if only. <laughs> I, Look, I brought the socks at the table. It was Somebody basically, the, it's basically the equivalent of dabbing. Yeah. It's like it's like that. Just a uh, celebrate. Anyway, so, yeah. <laughs> Jesus, uh, greeting for our sins. <laughs> <laughs> You're so... so <laughs> <laughs> but while we're while he's searching for the thing, speaking of the the Simba, whatever thumb across the the head, Cam and I were at New Man. Yeah, I got to meet oh, Ruth. Created by high school footballer Alan Davis in 2019. So they named it after him. Did they sign him? He created it in 2019, but it didn't go viral till 2021. Did they sign him though? Who signed him? Uh, Alan Davis. A, a team. Uh, like, no, no, no. They. You act like they as a person. Yeah, as a did anyone sign him? Yeah. Did anybody sign him? I like. There's. Did they sign merchandise him? that goes with it? Yeah, they officially have the licensed registered gritty. <laughs> gritty. Why is it called gritty? So it's named after him. I don't know why they call it. You're that. already asleep on us. No. Yeah, you are, dude. You're, right. You are. Talking about. I'm rolling. You ate uh, for like the gritty an hour. dance was originally invented by Louisiana's Alan Davis. Yep. A friend of former LSU wide receiver Jamar Chase. He plays for the Bengals now. So. I think he does. I think so. Bangless. Oh, no. There you go. Yeah. So, Ergen. Cam and I were at youth He's rally. Like Riddying for our sins. New Mana. And we talked about, we were at a. What? An Italian restaurant. And we had wings. My fingers were covered in wing sauce. And then we we're like, yeah, if Kayla has the baby, what are we going to do? And we we're like, you know, doing like the licking the fingers thing. It's like, all right, we got it. Ah. <laughs> Little baby. And I said, I'm still. My thumb with wing sauce would just go across <laughs> Kason's head. Simba. Simba. Yeah, it was a. Uh, Be baptized. <laughs> How come you have not been baptized? I never, I never got I around never to, to it. it okay? okay. Harry. Um. Speaking of baptized, uh, Harry text something I guess from the last episode on your way here. Um, where I mentioned waterboarding. Yeah. And I guess Dustin's response was, that's what we do to babies. I don't know what happened. <laughs> it was, yeah, I don't have clip with me. But I don't know like, how that one sucks like, to the crowd. Like, yeah. It was like, what are you going to do, waterboard me? It's like, Dustin's like, yeah, that's what we do to babies. But like, I think he was on response to something else, but it kind of was like, <laughs> no, I could have probably, I was probably in sure, response no, Dustin, to that. That was probably, a response that was probably that. correct. If yeah. you can believe it, Dust, wait, there's a fly. Where? Sing- Get it. Single him. white female. Yep. That's where to go. All the hairy boys want. Pa- oh, I don't think I can kill it from this distance. Oh, 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 Lord, send it to me. 
<laughs> Lord, give it to him. <laughs> Bless him. Lord. Was, I Bless his efforts. Crikey. Oh, dude, I see how bad this is going to be. I don't like. Ooh. Oh. Get the thing. You, dude, you missed it. It's in on. The bathroom. It, you missed it. In the bathroom. Right there. Right yeah. in front of you. Right in the. All right, Rambo. <laughs> Where'd it go? Shoot him. It's on Dustin. It's on my it's eye. It's on Dustin. It's on my <laughs> eye. <laughs> it's gone, bro. Darn. Man, next time. That's my first miss. Oof. Pressure. You missed like three times. That wasn't an actual shot. Like oh. In the air, you don't shoot it in the air. You shoot it with a stove. Why not shoot it in the air? Huh? Why not? Shut up. You want to explain to the listeners what this is that you're shooting? It's yeah, not so if those of you who are not watching on YouTube, this uh, is please a- go to YouTube and like and subscribe. But also, uh, Cameron has uh, an ass- assault rifle. Can I eat these joggers? Yeah, that's we- why I brought them. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> he has a salt gun, uh, a gun of which you put salt in, and you can use it to kill flies and stuff around the house. Um, yeah, the bug assault gun. And there was a fly. Pretty cool. Because it's getting Amen. warm out, so the bugs are here. The bugs are so getting buggy. What is that? Cameron was distracted oh. and wants to hunt the hunt the fly. These are amazing. He's on the counter. I now. also also brought Starburst jelly beans because above the countertops. Nope. Is there a Cameron dollar and, up there? They're really good. Cameron and Dustin have said they've never had Starburst jelly beans. Nope. And as we talked about in the Easter episode, those are the best jelly beans. I think you time. said Starburst. <laughs> I thought it was better. It's, I've heard it both ways. <laughs> so, so uh, <laughs> Cam's above the counter. So I brought them, and Kayla said, uh, Kayla took. No, she didn't. I thought she did. I thought she took Cam's. It's right there. Yeah, I think she ate some out of it, maybe. But I I I brought those for you guys. I also found, or my wife my wife found these. Thanks, Nikki. Yes, she uh she found these because uh you know after Easter everything goes on sale. She found Sour Patch Kids jelly beans, and knowing that Sour Patch Kids is the unofficial sponsor of the Calm Down Is Fun yeah. podcast, True. Yeah. she bought them and said, "Take these to Cam's house." These are amazing. Yeah. Cam is reloaded. Yeah. How are we looking? Good. <coughs> you like a hey, pro. that fly better not come out of these parts. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You got to be like at least a foot. I was probably about two feet, three feet from that one. I don't know how I missed, but being on camera is a lot different, you know. Just yeah, get all sure. nervous. Pressure. Pressure. My, my clammy hands. The whole yeah. world is watching. The whole world. Yeah. The whole world. None, no less these than the whole good. world. Dozens these of followers. <laughs> yeah. Tens okay. of followers um, we watched must, you. We need to... Uh, hey guys, we've been at nine ninety nine, um, ninety and nine, ninety nine likes on our podcast. We were like growing steadily, and like for the last month, it's been stuck at ninety nine and nine. So and nine. I know, like and nine. the Biblical. hundreds of people that watched and listened this week. I love how I brought him his own too. <laughs> he just took you. He does it to me all the time. <laughs> what a bully. Man. Did I tell the story about stand up? Stand up for yourself. He took gum. He asked me, he was like, hey, can I get some gum? And he threw it in the trash? Yeah. That's pretty funny. <laughs> took, took one piece out, threw the rest away. So remember I told you that story about my brother? The broom? Mm-hmm. The broom. Ever since then, I've, part of me has wanted to burn one of his brooms. So, Saturday, or last last Friday, I got his broom. <laughs> I'm going to open these. And I said to Kaz, Kaz, is your broom the green one? He said, yeah. I said, with the green, the black bristles? He's like, yeah. I said, it's in the dumpster. <laughs> on the dump side. Did you throw it in the dumpster? I had thrown it in the dumpster. <laughs> and he's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and so you say he, it. That's okay. He like climbs in the dumpster, gets out, throws it out. And then he's walking around. And then like 30 minutes later, he goes, where's my little broom? I said, the red one? He goes, it's in the dumpster. Yes. So yeah, it's something I'm, it's something I'm implementing in my life. You just start, at, like, just walk around and just pick up his things and start putting them in the dumpster. Yeah, like, well, like miter saws. Me and, stuff. and him have done forever we'll, when we're trimming. Like today, he was mm-hmm. doing baseboard, 
and instead of take, like taking the excess piece, small whatever, and mm-hmm. throwing it away, if me or him is anywhere near, like across the room, we throw it at each I mean, just literally see if we can hit each other. And it's, we don't even react to it. Like yeah. all day, just I'll be, stuff mm, and just I throw it at him, it hits him in the back. It's like, it's like yeah, it's a, it's a point. But we don't count, but it's just what we do. Like a sign yeah. of brotherly affection. And we just throw it at him. And he throws it at me. And those bounce off us. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. obviously doesn't hurt, but it's just... Then you're just picking them up at the end of the you day. You have to pick I them up anyways. can't stop eating these. It's a weird game. They're really good. Well, yeah, I mean, it's like... These are okay. They're not as good. It's just a challenge. Good. I got you. Yeah, we just something we've always done. Yeah. You can throw it right into the trash can, but you have to literally sweep up all the dust, everything, and all the stuff from the house. So. Mm-hmm. We were talking about subscribers. We were talking about likes. We were talking about reviews, emails. Let's get over. Listen, if you haven't liked, subscribed, <laughs> followed, um, told your friends. Huh? Dustin. Yeah, too. What? To you, Dustin. You can follow or subscribe. We need a push. We need uh, people to share. Yeah, we are, we're slowly growing. We were fastly growing. But I need you guys to be... Fasterly. Um, we were fasterly growing. Thank you. I need yeah. you guys to be... Well, we sort of hit a... Go out. We hit a, a two by two. The road. Yeah, no one's Go really out. Tell the world. We, we have hit a plateau here. Every we creature. grew a little bit over right after Christmas. We mm. were like, we boom. become a little more ecumenical. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but we're there, kind we of standing still. But I, choice. I mean, we have. I what it was. We're doing good. We are growing. Like every week, there's steady growth. You get a couple subscribers, but like. There's no, I don't think there's any new reviews on our podcast page. I don't know if you are a listener and you just started listening or you are you know, started listening a couple weeks, months ago or yeah, something. Yeah, where have you been? If you haven't emailed in, if you're out there and you're listening and you're a fan, let us know because I don't, I mean, we're not going to keep doing this if we we don't get response. I'm just joking. We will. We can't, you can't keep us away oh, from no, these the YouTube videos are going to see that you're winking. <laughs> yeah. No, but let us know you're out there. Um, our shirts are nineteen ninety nine right now. Shirts we're wearing right now. So you can go get those at Calm Down. It's buy, fine. Seat of merch. Buy this shirt. Seat of merch. The shirt that's covered up. They're nice shirts. No, they are. About the shirt you know, it's shirts we're wearing. Mine says Bucket King. Bucket King. But it's the emblem of the Burger King. Yep. Mine says Jorge. All right, Dustin, give them your best plea. Plea to like subscribe. We're all gonna say something about it. Do it. You're, you're stupid. Why? Because you're dumb. Why I mean, should they do it? Because it's all, it's good. All good things. You're you're a very deep human. Come to those who wait. David. Please like and subscribe so that comment Cameron, so that so that Cameron will let me hey, see my family. All again. things work together for good to well, them that amen. love God, to them that are called according to his purpose. So just do it and then let God sort it out. <laughs> you know what? Sound logic. Yeah. Harry. I did it last time. Nice try. <laughs> Let's go do it. Yeah, I said I already did it last time. <laughs> and I like, let me put it. You see how that podcaster threatens listeners. Yeah. And one guy's like, well, where's the threat? So, you're the threat. Uh, look at them things. Threat. <laughs> <laughs> Cats will scare a horse. Bombs. <laughs> <laughs> so, was, yeah. I was no, saying, no, where's, no, where's no, TJ's no. calves now? <laughs> Chase them. That's who it was. Yeah, me, me and TJ were talking about legs the other day. <laughs> really? Well, our legs. <laughs> <laughs> you sicko. <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever seen our legs. The, how the Grinch stole Christmas with Jim Carrey? No. Mm. Mm. Bits like, of it. Okay. Well, there's like a se- scene out. in there where he's trying to figure out like what he's going to wear to this jubilation thing. And then... um. The dog makes like a noise, and he's, and he's he took a tablecloth and wrapped it around him. He's like, it, "It's not a skirt, it's a kilt, sicko!" And he rips it off. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I have uh, some current events I, that I would like to talk about. It, mm-hmm. Dustin, do you have any? Does that exist? What? Um, yeah, I got at least one. Things that exist. Yep. Okay. Yeah, but uh, there's there's two stories. Um, that I've uh, learned about in the past week. Um, one is hilarious to me. Uh, so have you guys heard of the man, Avi Sterling? Christ Jesus. 
Abby, Abby, Abby Sterling. Nope. Um, so he is the coach for a women's powerlifting team. Yeah. And so in I, Canada, I heard this. In Canada has passed it so that if you identify as a woman, mm-hmm. you no no questions asked, you can compete in women's sports. Mm-hmm. Now there's a there's a transgender man by the name of uh Ann or Annie, that's what he goes by. Mm-hmm. Um it. he is a power lifter and he uh has won Eight of the of his nine last meets, powerlifting meets. How is a woman beating him at all? I don't know, but he's won eight of his nine last, and he set the record for the women's record for benching two hundred and seventy five pounds. That's it, because he's I mean, a, he's not good. He's that's not why he's real, yeah. But I mean, that's all the strongest woman in the world is benched. I guess he yeah. he had the record for two hundred and seventy five. So this guy Avi Sterling, who's the coach of his women's powerlifting team. Uh, was fed up, so As they you rightfully are. Yeah. So as you do, so yes, they sir. go to this meet, and Avi walks in, says, "I identify as a woman. Sign me up." And in front of this transgender man that had set the women's record, beat his record by almost a hundred pounds and benched three hundred and seventy pounds easily. <laughs> I'm talking 370. Yeah. They go down, puts it down, goes up, puts it up, <clears throat> boom, racks it. It's a video, right? Yeah. And then just leaves, just walks away and does it in front of the transgender man. So then the transgender man gets so mad about it and starts yeah. putting like all these videos and stuff on, on social media. But it's so funny. He was so fed up that his team kept getting beaten by this biological male. Yeah. He just walks in. He goes, I'm a woman. Can't, they're not allowed to ask questions because yep. they're in Canada. What's mm. his name? Avi Sterling. A-V-I. His last name is like Sterling, I believe. Uh, mm-hmm. They're not allowed to ask questions. He walks in, benches 370, crushing the women's record, yep. and then just walks out. Now, is it for NCAA or like college or what, what level? No, uh, this is, they're, they're all adults. That way. Yeah. This is like I thought it was college thing. for some reason. Like, technically, Avi's not a college student. You can't do that. Yeah, but. yeah no, no. They're all adults. Uh Dude, kudos to him for being a coach and having the record. Yeah. It's so funny, dude. <laughs> it was so funny. And like and then they asked him about it and he was like, I like I they're like, obviously he's doing this to show how ridiculous. Yeah. Excuse me. How ridiculous it is that these are the, the rules for the, it's women's so competition. Dumb. And it's then, so dumb. Or you're doing good. Thank you. That scares me. It was about, you you missed the, it, it was about to drop. Yeah, man. It was about to do a <laughs> bass drop. Gritty. And Harry was going to get up and do <laughs> the, the gritty. <laughs> <laughs> like, I remember, like, when I was in high school, there was, like, this weird push for, tr- they were trying to get, like, women on, like, in, like, the bo- the boys' sports or whatever. And how I was, like, a normal person would be, like, like, in football, they were trying to get more girls to play football. I'm like, that's stupid. Right, that yeah. you're gonna murder these little girls. Yeah, because even like the smallest guy on the football team still weighs forty pounds more than the heavy than the whatever girl would play. Right, you know, and then unless she's a hefty broad, well, there was a um, she's one of those that like res- reside in Walmart often. <laughs> <laughs> there's a um, there's an NBA player who oh, I forget who it is, but he um, I remember it was like what it was who was the chick who was. Was it Grimes who's trying to challenge all the? Hi yeah, guys. he was trying to challenge. Welcome he was trying to challenge Demarcus Cousins. Today, I want to talk about and check out one of I the so suggestions. Oh, I, Dude, I hate I the videos that have like the Indian guy, like yeah, most yeah. monotone. But there's a um, off of. Like, I think it's I think crypto it's, too. I think it's young. Um, the he's an NBA player, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, he tweeted out to WNBA for LA the Sparks, I think it is, mm-hmm. and was like, hey. You guys draft me. I'd be a great seventh seventh uh, pick, and we'll crush it. <laughs> he was talking about joining the WNBA and how they'd never lose ever again. Yeah, well, that's going to yeah. happen, right? Yeah. Eventually, if it keeps going the way it is. I mean, what are they going to say? No, not for this one. I mean, they'd be dunking. Dude, I'm going to join the WNBA. Yeah. Dude, you could. You think you could? At 32, probably not. How old? 32. There's still people in the league. Nothing. Nothing, huh? David Dawson. Oh, I might be able right. to. So you think I, I could be? All, I could come off the bench, maybe. You think? <laughs> what you am I talking about? No, WNBA. 
Can you make a layup? Yeah. You're, you're starting. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the comments are going to blow up. That's going to be a short right there. <laughs> I already see it. Like, like Cameron's like already working. He's like, yep, there it is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I I don't know. I think it would be fun to try out for can a you, Can you make a layup? <laughs> Can you dribble without <laughs> traveling? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're good. Uh. That's funny. Yeah, I heard about Do that. Do you think you could identify as a transgender woman and I make it on a on a professional female basketball team? <laughs> yeah, I feel like I probably could. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know, dude. I'd I don't know. Some <coughs> I'd, have to, I'd have to get back in shape, dude. You'd have your I own have played, Sports Illustrated magazine. Do you like, think like you could one on one beat Caitlin Clark? Caitlin Clark, mm-hmm. who's that? She's the point guard for Iowa. It was yes. a college. She was amazing. Every she had forty points against forty twenty girls. Girls. I don't know. She's pretty good, dude. Um, I played a D1 against a D1 girl. How tall is the average WNBA player? Is your phone shut off? Nope. Looking it up. Joke's on you. Um, I have played against a college girl, mm-hmm. and it was difficult. I've played with D1 and D2 college males. Yeah, but I'm saying this girl didn't. Like, if she got behind you, like, it's hard. She's Everybody's she, behind me. I'm so fast. I'm saying if she yeah, dribbled, if she tried to pull you from behind, you'd be done for. Yeah, if she got past you, it was hard. Like she, she could hit jumpers, easy, like really. So if she ever found a hole, she was hitting her jumpers. So it was like, poof. I thought this was gonna be like somebody. Your I mean, I beat to. her, but it was like, this is she's a lot better than you. Me. You beat her. Do yeah. you, you beat her? Do you want her pro? Oh, well. <laughs> oh, I'm not worried. David's about bashing me tonight. He well, goes, "Oh, Cameron had a joke." You no, you had it. That, that was funny, though. That was funny. No, but you, you had me thinking like pro, pro. All right. Do you want to know what D one is? For what? Five nine. No. Is I'm gonna say six. six five foot? five six. Five six <laughs> is the average D one. Dude, Ooh. you're a giant. You're like a center there, yeah. Dustin. <laughs> That's amazing. Dustin's a gentle. <gasps> That's wild. Look at look him. <gasps> Whoa. That's amazing. WNBA players typically I stand six feet tall. I finally found out where I fit WNBA. in. WNBA. Six feet, zero inches. It's it's six foot. That's the average. That's my colors. Is women's hovers basketball. Hovers around <laughs> six foot, zero inches. You understand. Like, I don't know nothing about <laughs> basketball, but I've right, do watched. Men's. Do men's. The Yo, tallest WNBA, WNBA players. It makes me sick. Malgor Zata Didek. Seven two, and she's never touched the rim. Y'all, y'all are gonna start calling me Danielle. And Let's she, go. and she's, <laughs> and she's <laughs> never touched the rim. Seven really? two, serious. And she can't dunk. I guarantee it. It's only three feet. Yeah, seven dude, two. You think she can jump three feet? You have to have like a what? Your wingspan, dude. dude have, yeah, I'm telling you, you, you don't have to jump. Three I am feet. telling you, you like she probably inches. can't About even six, dunk. Six. Wait, you have to jump like three hold on. Inches. So they're, and I bet she still can't dunk flat both feet. Their nets lower? Standing flat. No. It's got to be 10 feet, right? Oh, it's 10 feet, but is the ball's okay? smaller. Yeah. The ball is smaller. I bet she cannot dunk standing under the rim with both feet on the ground with a man's ball. It's too heavy. Did I say what it was for the so, guys? So it's We're really trashing the average some WNBA. Dub, the, I don't the average is six. <laughs> is, that's the NBA? It's yeah. a pretending six. sport. It, WNBA is average of 6'6"? That's, six? that's actually... Oh, no, guys NBA. Oh, yeah, 6'6 six, six is normal. Guys, that's, that's what six, Jordan six. was. LeBron's 6'7". I'm 5'9". Uh, LeBron's 6'7"? I thought he was like 6'9". Top six, five seven. WNBA dunks in history. There's only four. That's don't mind me. You guys keep going. I'm going to see if she's on here, though. Who? <laughs> <That's seven. laughs> the top comment says, admit. <laughs> you clicked on the video just to read the comments. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. You want me to put it up on the screen? Uh, Sure. If you can find it. All right. Women dunks. Do you want me to bring up my second? 
current event. <laughs> Go. After 20 years, they finally compiled a top five dunk list. <laughs> <laughs> so the second current event, this was actually brought to my attention today. Mm-hmm. I found out about this this afternoon. Yes. And I was thinking about it. The state of Montana mm-hmm. has passed a bill to ban TikTok. Amen. Yeah. Um, and I was going to let, let me let me unfold my thought and then I want to ask your guys' opinion on it. Okay. So unfold. first layer. Mm-hmm. Here I'm peeling it back like an onion. Mm-hmm. Um uh, ogres have layers like onions. Now, I will agree that I think that TikTok is is terrible. Mm-hmm. And it's uh of all the social medias, it's probably the worst of them. Mm-hmm. True. Definitely. Um Home Depot ad. Uh so yeah. with that being said, it also seems weird to me that the government would pass a bill on what you are and what apps you are and are not allowed to use on your phone. Mm-hmm. So I'm of the mindset of do I think that it's terrible? And that as a parent, you should probably step up to the plate and not let your kids use it. Yeah. Sure. But I do also kind of think that this may, might be like a government overstep on oh, telling like people. Gateway of what you can and can't. Yeah. I mean, it's tough because there's like way more detrimental things to TikTok than there are like good. But yes, can you see, okay, well, what happens when they ban the Bible app? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's one of those things where it's like I. But it's I, also like they're sending so much no, data no, 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 to. No, it's China. So basically, it's a different frontier we're in right now, because virtual internet, foreign affairs, foreign country interference in our country, people don't. It's not just like reading a newspaper. Like it's propaganda from the Chinese government. Right. And they are running. They can it. control what you can look at. Like this is common knowledge. TikTok. Okay, we don't have a TikTok. I've thought about it, but I'm just not going to do it. The TikTok in China, the, their youth mm. is totally different from what TikTok in yeah, the, it's America. All educational. It's yeah. educational. It's self betterment. It's learning. It's ours is literally out of the trash dump, right? Which I and that's that's intentional from them. Well, yeah, it, it, they and so my have point Jesus is grittying in China is what I'm hearing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they, <laughs> they put the Jesus gritty ad up. <laughs> And Harrison took the bait and was like, oh. <laughs> so, well, so, so don't I, mind if I do. I understand all that. And I actually, and I agree. I agree. There's probably a TikTok of Jesus greeting. But <laughs> it's, it's the thing of like, um, as bad as it is, right? Mm-hmm. I think that it's odd that the government would tell you what you can, what apps you can and can't have on your phone. I look at it kind of like McDonald's. Like, yeah, McDonald's, okay, but is it's bad not. For it, you. Here's the thing, which is why you shouldn't let your kids eat. If, it if Montana's doing it, so like you go to the school Woodbridge and they have a block with the kids can't get on a certain thing, or even on the app store. Like, well, I, I am all for. Right. Apparently, in the in the bill, Montana's mm-hmm. telling the Apple and Google to take it off of the That's app what I'm store. Saying. And they're going to fine them like ten thousand dollars a day until they my do. point is a state hmm. can can decide what they want to sell in their state, right? So if they say, "Hey, we're going to outlaw marijuana," essentially that's a product. You're going on to TikTok. You're going to a app store and buying, downloading TikTok, right? So it's not like it's something that you in air. It's not a an alienable right. It's Which, not free speech. It's yeah. not the Second Amendment. It's not. Mm-hmm. It's something that you were going and attaining. That they're saying, "Oh, we you can't have that in our state." Just like New York City, you can't have a gun. Okay, you know, you go and get that. It's yours. Well, the but, difference, and that's is, even way more just, infringing. The difference is, you are like you have a right to have bear arms. So, yes, you do. So I, you don't have a right to TikTok, and I and I get that. It just seems you have, there's gonna be all the kids like the right to renegade. Yeah, in Chicago. <laughs> Uh, oh, Chicago had a big <laughs> renegade of teenagers this year, this week. Uh, uh, no, renegade was a TikTok dance. But uh, what like, is up with you? Like hey, hey, you, hey, you guys subscribe to Harry's the bus ministry <laughs> far too long. To Harry's uh, TikTok. He where he's he just up to those kids' yeah. houses, like All those kids hey, yeah, look at them dances. legs, man. That's yeah, those legs don't Woo! happen by happen. No. <laughs> those are in, find that, calves. See that right there? Zoom in. Those things. Those legs weren't. 
fault. sculpted. They, were they weren't sculpted in a week. That's intentional. Yeah, yeah that's dude. It. That definition comes from to Michelangelo. <laughs> that comes from come from the. Oh, it's a joke. It was good. All right. It was good, yep. David. Yeah, man. The first one. You're doing a good job. Uh, we're, pr- we're all proud of you. So we yeah. were talking about it. Turned so, 49 today. So how do you guys? So we all. I mean, obviously, we all agree TikTok is is bad. Mm-hmm. Where do you stand on the government telling people what they are are not allowed, what apps are allowed to have on their phone? That's that's the weird part to me. It's a Chinese app. Like personally, my kid, I'd be like, no, you can't have it, right? Because yeah. as a parent, where'd that's you what, get that phone? What I'm saying is, as a parent, <laughs> it's the parents' jurisdiction to tell the kids what they are not allowed to have on right. the phone. I don't know I if that's the government's jurisdiction. The government literally. The government should be out of just about everything, but they do have a... The one thing they are supposed to do is protect their citizens from foreign dangers. Mm-hmm. So I do feel like... It, it, uh, that's one thing that I legitimately think is their job to do. Like, they're supposed to look out for their constituents. So you're for... Not... No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're for the government overreach? No. But I don't have a problem with them saying... Like, I wish Delaware would ban it. Someone, like, okay, so in World War II, there was a lot of things that were banned. And they were doing it because, like, literally, World War II, you got food rations. And companies were told, you can produce food, but you can't. You're going to go out of business. And if that happened right now, we'd be like, oh, overreach. or whatever. But it was to fight the war. Like, it's, just, it's a different situation. But I don't necessarily think them saying there is actual evidence of Chinese harvesting our information, yeah. <clears throat> our social security numbers, our credit card numbers, and they're buying up farms out west for what anything that is coming out of China, the China balloon, Chinese, whatever, all this stuff. Yeah, the propaganda Listen, shows, and, and that yeah. they're like the my most, point is if that the strongest yeah. nuclear powerhouse right now. Who? China. Oh, I'm sure. I feel like they have been. Yeah, but no, I don't feel like it's the government is wrong for saying no. We're actually gonna uh, we're actually gonna boycott all things Chinese. Well, therefore, they already you, banned a. F- phone therefore, Huawei, you can't do that. Huawei so. phones. I, I'm not against it. I think the government's overreaching so much at, at this point. But like, that's something that I actually think they should. That is a national security thing. Dustin, what do you think? Um, yeah, the overreach on the schooling is so. Like, if this were an American app, I uh, would say, oh, like speaking of government overreach, sorry, Dustin, did you see a thing where in Washington, I sent that to you, I don't know if you saw it, where if somebody identifies as transgender that and the, like the parents don't approve it, mm-hmm. the school has yeah. the right to take the child, like to hide their oh, children. Yeah, I heard about that. That's ridiculous. Well, you, <laughs> that's, did you send that's that? That's not correct. I, I sent it to you. It was DC? far as like, no, Washington State. State. Yeah. So if you're, if you're like, a, hey, I'm, I'm 12 years old. And I'm going to identify something else. My my mom doesn't approve. Don't worry. A school counselor will hide you somewhere. Right. They'll hide your kids from you. Uh, there was a teacher recently who I think TikTok's the least of our problems. There's a teacher but who I'd got get rid of it. There's a teacher who got fired recently because she refused to lie to a kid's parents on what the kid was like doing and going through at school. Like so, if the kid was saying. Like, I think I'm a boy or I think I'm a girl. And during the parent-teacher conference, the teacher's like... Damn, space is so disappointed right now. The kids... And the, the, the teacher... Wanna, this is America, dude. It's the crazy. teacher goes, uh, yeah, just so you know, your kid's struggling with some things. That te- And the, the school board was like, you have to lie to the parents and say nothing's going on. And the teacher's like, I'm not going to lie to this kid's parents. Like, yeah. they're the parents. They, they have a right to know. And the school board fired her. I just saw a video in that same vein. Um... Where the teacher's like, parents don't know what's best for their kids. We have master's degrees and doctorates and bachelor's degrees. These parents have not went through the portals of higher education. They don't know what's right. So no, we're not going to share our curriculum with the parents because quite frankly, they are uneducated and don't know what's best for our society. It is our job to train up the next generation with our values and what's right and correct. Everyone who is uneducated has no knowledge of what is right. And it's like, what? And that's literally what she mm-hmm. says. That was on Matt Walsh. Do you know what that sounds like? What's up, bud? Communism. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what they're pushing. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, 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 in the in the wheelbarrow of yeah, socialism. I know I've talked about the book 
love letter to America a hundred thousand times. Yeah. But I, every day, go I'm, off. Huh? Tell I say go. Have a day, go bud. Off. Have a day. Yeah. Hit it. Dustin, I, I think you I'll right. bleep out. I'll bleep out everything bad you say. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> poop, poop. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, Yuri Yuri Bezmenovitz wrote a book in careful, the seventies. Careful, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's joking. Yeah, but Kazoon type man. No, it's <laughs> Yuri Bezmenovitz. He wrote a book in the seventies. No Chinese names in this house. Called the Love Letter to America. He was the lead propagandist in the Soviet Union. He defected when he started gaining conscience. Zoom in on that bicep. Right there. <laughs> the too mo- late. The modesty mark. It's too late. Sorry. Too late. In between Harry's legs. And Anyhow, do you want me to talk about this or not? Yeah, no, go. go. See, if right. you can, see if you can stay on track. The brief, brief version. Anyway, he said that the Soviets infiltrated the U.S. and he gave timelines for how that would, it would take, how long it would take to destabilize the country from the inside out. And you start, you, they start with the education system. Right. And they start up all the way at the top level university and then let that trickle down. Until it's down to elementary, and then the parents have it, and then it's engulfed in everybody. And there's right. no way to stop which, it. Which kind of gets into what we were planned on talking about today, so I won't get too much into it. It's fine, it, Ted. They know already. Uh, do we? I, I didn't know if you wanted to. Do Does your mom go to college, bro? <laughs> your mom goes to college. So, so you say to my face? It, it, it ties in a little bit with the topic of the day. Um, they knew that they weren't going to beat America from the outside. Yep. So but, they sent communists TikTok. into the schools yep. and then over time or like you know push the agenda push the yeah. agenda push the agenda and now you have colleges like Harvard and Yale mm-hmm. which started out as colleges to train up young Christian men yep, yep. and to train them in the Bible mm-hmm. and they infiltra- infiltrated these schools and now these schools like you go to a college and it's just pushing communism yeah. and socialism and and so it's like they had this plan, mm-hmm. and we fell for it. Right. Well, that's the thing. So you, I mean, you can you can write off what he said as him just like making it up, whatever. But like, I mean, so far, if you, it's pretty spot on. It's pretty spot <laughs> it's on, pretty much <laughs> like the Bible. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm just. But um, yeah, it's um. Wow, look at these stats. We totally wow. missed the women's dunk, but it's okay. I'm gonna pull. There wasn't anything. To um. Miss. As far as how I feel about TikTok, <laughs> the app itself is owned by a Chinese organization. China is a communist country, therefore it's owned by the government. So that's bad. We should have never let it happen in the first place. Is, it, um, is the government wrong for, for banning? I for would ban- say, is listen, it the government's listen, job ever to just ban stuff from foreign countries? From foreign if countries... They took off the Russian stocks off the stock market. Yes. They're not in like good affairs. Is, that, good is that their job to do? Yes. Um, if you're not in good standings. What is, listen, if, if, Justin, if, if, in one if, word. if this was an American app, then absolutely not. I think that would be government overreach. I don't care what the app was for. Right. Um, but I'm saying, like, if you're in a nation, like, America against a nation that may not necessarily be good standings. If, mm-hmm. if there was an app called, um, it's a dating app that was... I'm not going to say it. I don't know where you're going with <laughs> it. <that. I> <laughs> <was, laughs> Farmersonly.com. Yeah, it's like a Ku Klux Klan dating app. <laughs> Would they take that? Is that? No, I think they look, should be able to listen, have that or would the government have to take that down? I think they should be able people to have that. People need love, Kim. <laughs> All um, people. That's, what like, the, that's, why, Nazis, that's why they're so angry. Nazi, well, love. No, Nazis <laughs> look, are look, love. Like, uh, I don't yeah. know. As like long, a Nazi dating as website. As long Dustin as you are honest. not harming another. Like, like because you, you know, you hear the argument about the, well, what about the KKK Nazis. or Nazis or whatever. And it's like, look, if you believe in the Nazi ideology and if you're not hurting someone else, go nuts, bro. You know, I mean, no, like, that is know, freedom for sure. It, it, it's freedom, isn't it? The KKK, like, are they? Is it an evil, wicked group? Yeah. Should they be allowed to assemble? Yes. No, you're right. Just, I mean, that the down on the fabric, they you can think whatever you want. Yeah. Like you're allowed to th- in America. Well, thing you is, are allowed like, okay, to be wrong. Well, you can't yes. act on those wrong. Yeah. Yes, but you are. Yes. But you are allowed, allowed as far as the KKK wrong. goes. You're it's allowed not, to say, I think. Was it white people yeah. or whatever are the superior race and Jews and black people are below? And you're all if you're a Nazi, yep. same like you're allowed to think that. But when you're starting to have rallies and, and what's it called? Um, or targeting people, you start. Yeah. What's the when, Look, when when any Democrat senator gets up and says, you know, go kill people. Yeah. Anytime oh, they do that, there can't, there can't, violence. Yeah, there can't be when, a call to action or anything. Yeah, well, that's what they do every single. Yes. 
you know, protests. Go show them because, like, I mean, and then like, they do and they kill and they burn the, targets down. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah that was the thing. Like the, um, I don't know. Like this episode's a downer a little bit at the moment. Sorry, you know? but the our the, point. No no, the, no, no, no. This all is tied in together. Mm-hmm. The government shouldn't have any. They're not. Al- if you are banning any everything you don't like, then they're gonna. If they're banning everything they don't like, they're gonna ban something that you do like, yeah. and no. it's freedom. Like they're going to overreach, but in this case, because it's not an American, no, I, I don't think so. I can, Realist, you know, realistically, it makes yeah, sense to me. There's if, two. Di- can I just real quick? Sure. There's two different ideas here that are at play, and I think that both are correct. Number one, we're we are a country founded on the like individual freedoms and liberties to people, as long as you're not hurting or infringing upon anyone else's rights. That's number one. So if someone wants to have some crate, like if, like a, let's just say like a cult, someone wants to start a cult, as long as you're not hurting someone, fine. You're, you're allowed to have yes. a cult. Now the, the other the other thing is as the far as like what you want to like, as far Family. as um, the what, what's it called yeah. the snowball effect. Advocare. Advocare. Oh, that's what I was trying to think. <laughs> I was trying to think of. What it was. Like so that would be the other idea is that okay which is what and both would be correct. The snowball effect, they ban this thing. Like, like if they, you can't form a cult, well, okay, what are they going to start defining as a cult? Because the government's known for changing their definitions of stuff. Right. At some point, they're going to call Christianity a cult if they're not right. already they're defining, defining it. Yeah. 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 Ruth, no. who works at pregnancy centers, they're saying but they're defining the, pregnancy as an illness. Yeah. <laughs> so stupid. Seriously. If, but that look, so wild. with TikTok, the the only reason I have say I'm not against them banning it is because really it's a Chinese, camp. and they're they're it's already proven that they're mining data off of right, it. Right, right, that right. would be it. If the, if TikTok was an American uh, like my enterprise, thing is, if then I you are care. with again rela- relations between countries, if Russia said, "Oh, we're going to make Russian TikTok," mm-hmm. people would be up in arms, like, "No, we're not going to do that. It's Russia. That's yeah. evil." But like, okay, you're talking to a nation that obviously is not like the relations are can swing at any time. Yeah. If you get rid of it, you know, capitalism, somebody is going to capitalize on the opportunity and yeah. make a American TikTok to make money off. Yeah, of yeah. It. Other There's going to be mean, options other, out there. Other we had already. Vine. We had Vine. Things <laughs> yeah. were okay, and then we got rid of it. The good other, old days were Vine. David Garcia. Other apps already have it between like Instagram has yeah the like with the re- so that's a, reels the is TikTok people anyways. are going to get off of TikTok and just go to the reels YouTube shorts you know or Stuff whatever like, like go so to the YouTube shorts mm-hmm. so yeah right, that's so fine YouTube shorts makes sense. Uh, my favorite I part can, about this was the rabbit on the top keeping this forever yeah I I little that pagan, was little that pagan was, idol that's good hey, yeah I like that that was my question <laughs> uh, was oh I got two pagan yeah. idols <laughs> I will not yeah be. Harry can you give me socks of the Easter Bunny doing the gritty um. So all right, that was my question. I it just were. wanted to see, and I, honestly, I actually, I actually agree. I I think that because uh, because it's not an American app, and we already know the problem of the Chinese government in our TikToks and our phones and our homes, in our phones and our homes. Yeah, TikTok. I can, uh, I can, I can get on board with that with that train of thought. Yeah, good. All right. Well, uh, with that being said, hey, let me ask it. you something. Shut up. Okay, boy. Here's yeah. a video of every WNBA dunk ever. Yeah. This Somebody video said, is 13 uh, seconds long. <laughs> the comment was like the fact that there were Just more dunks in a single NBA game than the entire WNBA history. <laughs> oh, man. You would think during all that talking, Cameron would have gotten past that ad first. If you That's look up why. Jesus we were talking on Amazon, Amazon disconnect so the TV. You selfish, selfish, spoiled brat. Me? You, you you act like a single child. I had to try to find a seven. Why would I do chick. him? No, not a middle child. Two minutes. <laughs> what a, a two minute. Two minutes. Is this? Is it? It's five dunks, dude. Oh, it's five. I thought this was every dunk in WNBA nah, history. this is five. Two they minutes. have top I, five dunks. I looked up Jesus. They socks don't have a top here. ten for reference. <laughs> so many of these are motivational. <laughs> I don't know why it's not loading. Because there are none. It's try having four oh four not found. Just put one of the circle rings so it'll <laughs> yeah. assume that there's five, but it'll never load. Yeah. Oof. That was anticlimactic. Well, Brutal. all that we build go. up. Yeah. Lord help us to watch the video. Amen. Hit refresh. Hit refresh on all the top video. fifty point dunks in NBA slam dunk contest history. <laughs> 50 to 15, 5. 15 minutes. So this 15 minutes on dunks that don't count from the NBA. 
What are you doing? He's got to redo it. Reconnected. We're going to watch bro. this. We're committed. I don't think that was the issue. Hit, hit re, re, refresh the page. Next to YouTube.com, hit the little arrow with the circle. At the top. To the right. Another ad. Another ad. Old Town Road Farms. <laughs> D- Harry, don't watch this because you might end up buying it. Oh, it's an Airbnb ad. Airbnb. Skip the ad. Hey! Whoa. <laughs> Turn the iPad sideways. <laughs> Barely. Oh, look at that. I've done that before. She's like, <laughs> I've done that. Straight up, just like straight dunk, like straight up, down. All right, here we go. What a pick. Oh. Ah! Barely. That's Griner. That's Brittany Griner. That's her. What a hero. What a an hero. American hero. America in action. It kind of blows me away that that would be in the top 10. That's a warm-up layup line dunk. And they played it five times. And wow. the angles. Here we Never go. Again. Again. Yeah, again. Again. Oh, barely. Oh, two hands this time. She almost fell over. Two hands this time. She's... That was sad. What just happened there? I think the steal was more impressive. And she like thought. her wind up is like she's like dribbles, looks at the ball, dribbles, looks at the ball. Is this all Brittany Griner? It is. It's all Brittany Griner. Uh! I don't like the way three of the top five are Brittany Griner. And just straight up. But they're like they're breakaways. Now Grant, I can't dunk, but like they're breakaways. You see how she pulls herself up to make it more she dramatic? She almost like, didn't make that. She almost yeah. did. She hit the rim on the way up. Number one. This better be a good one. How was that number one? I don't know how. That was what, probably the first. The, that was the, probably the first. The WNBA first one dunk. ever. Yep. <laughs> she barely made that, that it. One, was, that wasn't really it. The, was she like, let go of the. Didn't she? Go, go back. She didn't, didn't she even hold on. She kind of sums up the WNBA. <laughs> yeah. Ends on a. Uh, after watching this video, uh, yes, I think I can make the WNBA. I think we go to the finals. Yep. I think I, uh, I don't even know how to play. I still win. So in Watch. short, no, the seven foot two uh, person. I do not cannot. call. Oh, see, this this was college. seven years ago. After <laughs> here we go. I like that. Best comments comment section. After twenty years, they finally compiled a top five dunk. That list. is hilarious. I still think Shaq was right when he suggested lowering the rim. <laughs> Fun fact. There have been more dunks in a single NBA game than there have been a WNBA history. Coming back after her return, I now see why the WNBA <laughs> was so desperate to get Griner back. She was the whole compilation. <laughs> That's so funny. She, it should be called all five My dunks in the history. WNBA history. <laughs> condolences, <laughs> condolences to the two WNBA dunks oh, that didn't make the cut. Like the, did you play 2K? Yeah, yeah, it yeah. says when you make well, the my player and he's fifty five overall with no animations. <laughs> Every <laughs> single comment is trash. We had a, one guy is actually impressed. We had but, a we had a three on three basketball tournament at our church we hosted, and um, one of the teams uh, they submitted their team name, and it was uh, sixty overall. Was their team name? What was it called? Like, Harry didn't hear me. I don't sixty think. Sorry, I'm overall for. To seven yeah, foot tall, two K, two K reference. They, uh, their basketball team was overall. sixty overall. I've seen Zion Wilma- Williamson do five dunks more impressive than, than this yep. in a single game. The purpose of the dunk is to ensure two points at the basket, even more than the layup. What makes the dunk more impressive are the decorative movements brought by the athleticism and agility, and by challenging the tough defense and sh- shot contest. All right, thanks for the insight there, Justin. Admit you clicked on the video just to read the comments. How did she barely dunk when she's only six nine? And cr- actually, mind blowing to be honest. It's it's true. Like they're six nine. They're like yeah. just well, the seven foot two chick hasn't dunked. Hasn't has not dunked. Like they did a top moment, and it's like half the time she's just like interviewing. Oh my goodness! I don't know if this Crazy. is uh, seven two. Seven two. Like you're. 
Your arm is You're grabbing. That's my point. At like you grabbing the bottom of the net easily. I being alive. At seven two. Speaking. Seven two. Rim, yeah, right? You're basically grabbing. The rim. I being it's only alive. Three, three more feet oh, to goodness. grab the rim. That's wild. All right, we'll do comments and YouTube. Give her like some moon shoes and just. We'll do our uh, comments and emails and stuff next episode. <laughs> but for this episode, let's get into the topic. Does your mom go to college, bro? Your mom goes to college. Your face. Your Why don't you come down here and change my face? All right. <laughs> First, I'm saving, I'm saving sure money to go to college. Are you going to the graduation? To yeah. That's a continue the tradition. Should do be do. All right, college. Colleges. Shout out to UConn. All right, let's talk to the let's talk to the people who've been to college here. <coughs> I'm the only one. <laughs> <laughs> David. Well, you went to the institute. Bible, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. You guys are all smarter than me. By that's, default. I don't, I don't think that that's how that works at all. Well, you went to West Point. Just, yeah. You, you taught. Go, yeah, you I taught, taught at a school. <laughs> I, I taught marksmanship. I don't think that really qualifies as an intellectual capability. Hey, Jen, they have. You taught minute with <laughs> curve. Minute, 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 minute of angle. Was it minute lesbian angle. dance theory? Everybody. Was the class? <laughs> College Harrison, what's your your college degree in? Uh, what did I do? Youth <laughs> ministry is pastoral theology. <laughs> well, what did, what did I do? Mine with vision is pastoral theology. I also have a bachelor degree from. It was Virginia Baptist College, but now it's Veritas. Shut up. It's accredited though. It's not victory. No, not victory. <laughs> um, that one's in church business, which was fun. That was actually a like. Vision, that was very good. I learned a lot with that one, and it fired me up. But the one on the other one, I did at the same time because I started Virginia Baptist College when I was right out of high school. It took me five years because I didn't do full time the whole time. Mm -hmm. But it was a lot harder because, again, it was like business. It took Mm -hmm. economics, um, business math, accounting one, accounting two, marketing. Um, I said economics already, but all like tons of business stuff along with some like church, like ministry related church marketing, you know, um, current issues type. <clears throat> but that one was, that was good for learning business stuff, learning how to do stuff. So that was pretty good. But dad wanted me to have an accredited degree, which is nice, but I've never used it. Use it. I never used it. Me so like I'm I'm I, I, remember, I'm, uh, I work for I work construction and uh, I'm in our church so I don't but I have written it down on stuff before I have a pastoral theology and then business degree which mm-hmm. is not an MBA but yeah. MBA yeah, none a, of my degrees have ever come up and I remember uh, no one cares when you work hard randomly there was a fly and I grabbed my diploma. Killed it. <laughs> <laughs> I tweeted out it's to all those gun. <laughs> to all those whoever said I couldn't do anything with the Bible college degree. <laughs> yes, that's so funny. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> yeah, it's not. I mean, I have a. Why I have my two. Sweating? My um, both of my diplomas. That's a lot of people on you right. know in my office. It's nice. It was. I mean, it was hard. It taught me more than anything. It just taught me discipline. Mm-hmm. Like it was. With like both of those degrees represent so much work, and like from twenty, from eighteen to twenty two or whatever, mm-hmm. I was just swamped, dude. Like I don't remember anything. Right. No free time. Like none. At one point, I was doing like you know twenty eight credits because I was doing Veritas because they changed the name from Virginia to Veritas mm-hmm. and Vision, but I had to do Vision. I wasn't there every so I did like eighty credits with Vision, but mm-hmm. I had to supplemental Veritas. Eight, eight, Veritas, that sounds familiar. Virginia Baptist College, but they changed it to Veritas yeah. Baptist College, which in Latin is truth or whatever. That's what they changed to. I think I... Hmm? Kurt Skelly. Kurt Skelly is there now. You. I think... I, I think... Not... I guess not recently, but not too long. Something... Project Project Veritas. Project Veritas, What's yeah. Project Veritas? That's, That's that James guy, O'Keefe. James O'Keefe. He got booted from it. What he would go in and video people. Like go into Planned Parenthood with like a camera and talk to people. And, and they would like, okay. like got him or like CNN. Yeah, Project Veritas. That's what was clicking in my head. Yeah. Two separate, completely separate yeah. things. You weren't but, sneaking into Planned Parenthood? No, no. 
was that's not, not which no, I wasn't. That was the great. final project. <laughs> that was <laughs> vision yeah. was you had to preach on a street corner in Philadelphia. Uh, Veritas, how was, much, you had to infiltrate CNN. Yeah, how much of that was it was a uh, credit to your grade? Was that seventy percent of your grade? Steve? No, yeah. well, vision. We did have to go into Philadelphia on the street corner and video ourselves preach street preaching for five minutes to graduate. So that was fun. Mm-hmm. At vision. Oh huh. yeah. Did anyone get saved? Uh, yeah, I led a guy to the Lord. Really? Wow. I did. I did. Extra credit. <laughs> yep, I got a picture with the guy, so it's, it's the it, automatic A. I got a picture with the guy, so it, it did happen. Yeah, I led that guy to the Lord. So, pow to your face. I, I'm just joking. <laughs> the eternal, I'm serious. The eternal rewards and a degree. Look at I, that. Uh, so, uh, before, before we, uh, my vision uh, degree has pen splattered all over it. Here's a here's oh, a really? rabbit pen trail. exploded. I guess so. Literally all over the inside. Oh, here's here's a funny story. So. Um, I think I may have mentioned it. Came in a nice, uh, <laughs> nice folding folder, though. Can't get it remade either. Uh, Oof. so here's, <laughs> so um, street preaching, street preaching. <laughs> keep going, no, keep going. Just go. I'm listening. Uh, <laughs> I may have. <laughs> I may have started to tell this story on the podcast before, but I know that I haven't told the whole story. But um, when I was when I was younger, me and Road Dudley went street preaching at UD, and uh, mm-hmm. we're we're street ugly preaching. duckling. This was, and yeah. this was when um, you, you to what? <laughs> you the best. <laughs> um, so this was when people first started getting a hold of like the whole Ray Comfort thing, where you yeah, ask yeah. questions. Oh yeah, and, dude. Yo, oh, what's you the best selling cookie in America or whatever? By your account, <laughs> by your account, would yeah, you consider you, yourself to be a good person? So yeah, so Rogue got a hold of that. And Rogue, have you ever lusted after a woman in your heart? So, he, so follow me. <laughs> so follow me. You're lying to. You. So follow me, right? So he starts going through the spiel, and this guy is walking down the street, and he stops, and Rogue goes, "Do you think you're a good person?" And he's like, "I do." And he's like, "Have you ever stole?" And he's like, "Was that make you a stealer?" No, they're in Pittsburgh. What is that? A thief, <laughs> right? And they go through the whole thing, right? <laughs> With he goes, "Oh, have you ever looked at a woman and lusted after her in your heart?" And the guy looks at Rogue, and he goes, "Actually, I'm into guys." And Rogue goes, "Oh." <laughs> So, oh. then, so then Rose like nope. so Ro goes okay so I have you looked at a guy and he goes yeah and he goes all right so Ro just he just, <laughs> he rolls with it he kicks some stones on it. <laughs> he rolls with it and he keeps witnessing to the guy so then the guy just starts yelling at Ro you're saying I'm oh, and he's like yelling all this stuff about being gay and he's like he's like well I make you uncomfortable and he Ro's like at at the moment you're yelling at me in the street yes that's making me quite uncomfortable so the guy storms off right goes. Buys a sack of oranges. <laughs> As one does. <laughs> stands, As you do. <laughs> stands down the street. Ro's now witnessing, me and Ro are talking to a completely different guy named John. I remember I remember John because John got down on the sidewalk at, at UD and mm-hmm. asked Lord to save him that very night. Wow. While we're, we're dealing with John, me and Ro are talking to John, this gay guy standing down the street with his sack of oranges and he's just <laughs> chucking oranges at us. <laughs> Bro, he's just he's just throwing oh my goodness. free oranges, dude. He's thro- so Rose talking to this guy John, and John's like, "I'm not a good person," and <laughs> just oranges <laughs> are landing around Did us. You catch and, one, and, uh, and well, John and was the first person. To, says, <laughs> this guy, this guy John, is the first person pointed out, and he's like, "What is happening right now?" And Ro goes, ah, "There's a guy. He's he's mad at us, so he's, he's throwing oranges at us." And the guy goes, "That's so weird." <laughs> and Ro goes, "Yeah." You might so, say it's weird, but it's not coincidence. <laughs> so, so, so more in the coincidence. So that guy gets saved, right? That's a story. It's a funny story. My first time ever preaching at Faith Baptist Church. I'm 17, mm-hmm. uh, 16, 17, I'm and I'm sorry. preaching, and How I'm many preaching. Years ago was that? We're at 49. We're at 49. <laughs> so that was 32, dude. So, yeah. yeah, times Woo. changed. Yeah, when yeah. I was, a young, do you remember when I was when a they, young warthog when they so, made the bread? Yep, sliced it up. So it's my you first there. time preaching, and I'm preaching a message. You can't keep a good man down, and I remember mm-hmm. it because it's my first time preaching. Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm preaching on the text from of stone when tablets Paul, when Paul got <laughs> when Paul got stoned, and they took him out of the city and stuff like that. Right? You were there, and I said, I said, I said. Now Paul got stoned, and I go, I go. I've never had it that bad. I said one time while I was street preaching, a gay guy threw oranges at me, uh, but that's as close as it's gotten. 
to what Paul went mm-hmm. through. Did they have them hit you? And a guy, a guy in our church, I won't say his name, but a guy in our church laughs and he goes, ha, that was me. And I, in the middle of my message, dude, I just. It was? No, it wasn't him. But he didn't hear me say the part about it was a gay guy throwing oranges at me. So he goes, ha, yeah, that was me. I was, I was throwing oranges at you. And I was like. <laughs> and his wife is like elbowing him like shut up shut up and I was just like alright moving on it was my first time preaching I didn't know how to you yeah. know? so, so I'm just like yeah. Work the crowd. yeah there's a gay guy <laughs> throwing oranges at me and a dude just shouts like yeah that was me <laughs> well I don't know just how to as I that's am that's a way to come out <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> so, alright man and such were some of you <laughs> yeah. heads bowed eyes closed <laughs> altars open yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, I've never, never been stoned like Paul the Apostle, but a gay guy. Did but you've been orange. oranged. I've been oranged. Wow, orange, good. So, thank you for your sacrifice. Was that a college story? <laughs> no, we were. T- I, I brought. I it forgot up how to get there. About videoing. So, thank you to for be giving street, to Lord. Street preaching, and you let a guy to the Lord while you. He was preaching. at UD College because you went to college. Vision. Yep, the yeah, yep. yep, 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 yep. Yeah, so college. I was about to sing. Uh, thank you for giving to the Lord. Every time I look at that, I think it's went to heaven. The bathroom TV. I'm like, why even TV in the bathroom? It was just, it's just funny. Like you're, no, you're, a great story. you're dealing with a guy, and this guy's like, story. he's visibly under conviction, and oranges are just falling from the sky. And then he didn't hit you. No, no, he didn't no, get like, close. Yeah. He both he, them he didn't get close, close enough to he like close hit you. They were came, gay oranges. I mean, he if came, he throws like a girl. <laughs> Yeah, but hey, it's either <laughs> raining oranges or rain uh, fire and brimstone. Yeah. Pick your choice, John. Yes. Yeah, but uh, he 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 he. The closest orange landed about two feet away from John, the guy we were witnessing to. So you Dustin, didn't, you, you didn't pick it up been, and use it as an object lesson. Huh? I should have just peeled it, stared at the guy, peeled it, and ate it. Dustin, you've not been to college, but no. you're in tech school. Tech school right now, right? Yeah. That's like practical college. Yeah, That's yeah. useful college. Yeah, it's useful <laughs> college. <laughs> All right, so let's read some facts here. It says... Go. Um, did you put this together? My wife did for me. Oh, wow. snap. My intern. Heavy. We've got interns? What a blessing. How much are you paying her? Oh, yeah. A lot. So, college... Half, more, half of everything don't here. Don't read yeah. down list here. <laughs> more c- females <laughs> attend college <laughs> than males. Yeah. I believe that. They're, that makes sense. they're easily... Yeah. I believe smarter. So. No, they're easily influenced by, you know, by like, men. Go to college if you want to make money. I'm just bashing women today. I'm they, sorry. Yeah. Keep going. They need right. it. Uh, Here we go. Ten largest <laughs> public heads. university campuses by enrollment during during 2022 academic year. I knew this. Number one is Texas, Texas AM. A&M. A&M. AM. AM. Seventy four thousand. Central Bank of Florida. People. This is the most people. This is the most like students in the college. Yeah. That's what enrollment. Yeah, that's we're looking at. Enrollments okay. number one. All right. So then Ohio <laughs> State. I think. Oh my goodness, uh, Rutgers is crazy. Ohio Isn't that State nuts? gross. I didn't think it was that big. Gross. All right. So it's Texas A&M. That's we didn't showing, go through. Do you understand? List. There's more people in these colleges than there are in my whole county. Texas A&M, um, Rutgers, Central Florida, Florida, Ohio is five. It's nuts. Arizona State six, University of Illinois, Urban Champ Champlain Champaign, Urbana, eight, Florida International University uh, nine. Other than Ohio, all like southern. Oh no, Illinois. Right, I see Illinois there. Rutgers. It's just where's Rutgers at? Rutgers it's just so three, many people. Seven thousand. That's where, crazy, I mean, dude. Where? New Jersey. It's like oh, okay. twenty. It's amazing. What, Thirty minutes from yeah. Berlin. You said like Temple too in Philly. There are so many colleges in Jersey. You have so many colleges. Jersey's not a big state. Dude, there's so many colleges. It's crazy. Why are they it's all... Where Princeton why are they all... It's Ivy League. League. Princeton's there. Why are they it's all, all Ivy League. I don't know. Remember I, uh, the Princeton's Peacocks? in Jersey? I didn't know that. Remember the Peacocks who made it to the final, yeah. the final four Doug. last year? Yeah. They're from there. The other team that made it to the Sweet 16 this year, they're from there. Like all these... Crazy the UConn thing. one. UConn one. All right. Most expensive college... All right, how much is it? Did you guys see that? Yeah. yeah. I did not see it. I didn't All right, see it. Take a guess at how much it is a year. A year? Yeah. I'm going to say. Wrong. Just oh. remember when you do this, you struggled to pay your institute bill. Just joking. Damn. <laughs> yeah. It's I'm going to guess. I'm gonna guess I, I actually probably still owe some on that. I'm, 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 who knows? <laughs> Vince Massa, email in. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> you still a money you jerk? I no, I don't <laughs> yeah. joke. Uh, man, God's where with the well, I didn't man. graduate either, so um, you still can though. <laughs> Never mind. Are you gonna guess or? I'm gonna say 123,000. Uh, oh like, my! Is it soul. south? Is it south of 100,000? Yeah. I'm gonna say 84,000 dollars. Most expensive college, Harvey Mudd, 77,000 per year. Never even heard of that. I don't even remember what I said. What did I say? 84. Should uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. For, that fast, I already forgot what I said. <laughs> House a year, dude. Well, not with inflation, but all right. This so wait, is where is so that school at? Stupid. Where was this What is Harvey Mudd? Where, where, where? 77,000. No, but like, what is where, it? Like, where, kind of, we're going to look at it, though. Here's the oh, list. Okay. Clarence McKenna College. All white people. Yep. Yeah, definitely. 73,000. Look great. at that guy to the left. This the is far so, left. What do they He's hope, a genius. What do they hope to do? Look at that guy. He, is what are him? they doing? If they uh, took that money and just invested work at Starbucks. it. Starbucks. Invested it? But, bro, at mm-hmm. 18... What just they, invest what that are they money. Gonna do? What are they going to? They're going to. They're going to tell yeah, you, you like why a you're a not smart enough to raise your own children. If you did thousand dollars from eighteen to like thirty, and you just let it compound interest, you'd be Saint a millionaire. Lawrence University. I would like to say something here. I look seventy three thousand dollars. This is another school. Go ahead, Dustin. Uh, I was just going to say that, like, other than like, because like Bible College, I understand. You know, it's but like, you, like I mean, that's that's like helpful. In your spiritual life, but also like a regular, not necessary though. Yes, I, I which also I understand. Pastor, I'm saying, but like, uh, like these, like these huge colleges for like, uh, it's insane. You're spending all well, this, of this had, like, money a, for Cam, this what? One's a small one, right? You're, yeah. The, and because that's always but that's the thing that's been jam- that's how you know it's part of the system because it's a money grab. Dude. Because like at pu- public school, you hear all the time, you know, it's all you're doing is just training you to go to college, yeah. and then you get to college, and then they're like, you realize, no, that, but then oh, you work your I whole entire twenties and thirties to you, pay off your debt. No doubt, you could graduate high school, and if you spent four years for free like watching it, YouTube videos, yep. oh, yeah. You would be more or an knowledgeable or an apprenticeship. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah, I'm just yeah, saying, like you like can. Th- yeah. Nothing in college is is. is, is <laughs> yeah, look at me. I tra- I tra- I tra- like a trade. This school. is school. This, this is we got to roll through these. Twenty four hundred students, seventy three. They got to pay their staff. Carnegie oh. Mellon. Carnegie Mellon, seventy four thousand a year. Design Let's look schools. at some more Union College. I feel like New York. Seventy four. Washington what? University. St. Louis and St. Louis. Seventy four thousand per year. Oh, that's that's telling, cool. isn't it? Yeah, family photography. <laughs> Pepper you got to pay extra for that stuff. California, that was a Christian Inst- university. Pepperdine, suffering for Christ. Pepperidge, private Farm. Christian. Colorado wow. College, seventy four. Joel Osteen owns that one. How would you like to spend <laughs> seventy four thousand dollars on none of these on these colleges that don't even have a football team? Yeah, seriously. Seventy four. So weird. All of these. Carlton. I've never even heard. They're of taking the strangest like, pictures to represent their wait, colleges. What are we so at? Well, George Washington University. They were. Um, I think that's what. Is George Washington University one where like Boston? Uh, no. It's the one George Washington. Colby, went to. Fordham. All right, now we're getting Yale. To like, Yale, Yale is seventy four thousand dollars. Six percent acceptance. My uh, so my football coach in high mm. school, he played D one football. He was a safety. For Richmond Spiders, okay, they they play Delaware University of Delaware. It's in their conference. He got a full ride scholarship to Yale, and it's your moment, Cam. What would make me fast and accurate? <laughs> you got this. Shoot him in the butt. Ah, oh, dang it! You stink, bro. Me? No. Draw the adventure. Sure. Let's go! Ooh. Through the chinks of the <coughs> armor. Where is it? On the floor? Yeah. Shoot while it's down. around all willy nilly. Nothing like rubbing salt in the it's wound. Dead. <laughs> 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 uh-huh. I like all so these jokes you had, had tonight. They're pretty, they're high class. He had a full ride scholarship opportunity to Yale. They don't have a great football team. Mm-hmm. No. He they're wanted to play, he wanted to play for a D1 college, whatever. So he's like, so I went to Richmond University. Not an awful school, but nowhere on the top 100 or anything. And he's, he only, like, he'd never started. Ever. He would have started at Yale and had an Ivy League <laughs> education. Yeah, that's a flex, dude. <laughs> and wow. he, he looks telling, good on any resume. He went tell, to Harvard. Yeah. Yale, he's telling you, he's like, 
the stupidest decision I ever made. My dad's like, are you sure? Like, this isn't going to age well. And now he's, I mean, he's fine. He's a teacher. Mm-hmm. Just like at a, but like. Just not Yale degree. I said the college, the college my wife went to is like right down the road from Yale. It's crazy. But there are a bunch Haven. of punks walking in there. All right. 74,000 a year, Yale. Midbury. It's like where? New Haven. That's where uh, Zach Kinsman him? has a church in New Haven, Connecticut. He was Down at Vision yesterday. Him? Yeah, I saw that. All right, here we go. No. Bennington, we're at 29. Bennington, Colgate. That's what they make, they make toothpaste. <laughs> toothpaste. Yeah, they're good at toothpaste, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tulane. He's never heard of these ones. Wake, Wake Forest. Forest. Wake Forest. 75,000? Economics. Golly. Cornell. Yeah, okay. that's an Ivy League, right? Yep. 11%. University of Rochester. Interesting. Connecticut College. Oh, my goodness. Original. Connecticut original. College. 75. No application Barnard. fee. Barnard. Really? Yeah. That's all applied. Yeah, it's go, on there. It. go on there yeah, and apply. You have to pay $75,000 a year. Shh, that's besides the fact. That's fine. They just roll it into your tuition. Mm. Number one women's school. Dude, that explains a lot. Boston College. That's on there twice? The that's where Matt Ryan went. Didn't Boston College? No, Boston, Boston University. University. Best Catholic college. All right, Scripps. That sounds like, that sounds like a and gang name. Franklin and Marshall <laughs> College. Hey, Southern email Methodist in. Methodist University. Wesleyan, Wesleyan. University. Wesleyan. Yeah, that's interesting. Let's see. Shout out to Tyler Oberlin. Campbell. Bard College. That's where, they, that's where the uh, minstrels. College. That's where the minstrels learn. <laughs> yeah. Reed right. College. Dude, we're in like 75, 75. almost 76,000. Harvard. 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 That's Harvard. Oh, you Shut Harvard. up. We're not even in the top 10. Vassar. Yet. Vassar. Vassar. Georgetown. 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 What's that? In Wa- it's uh, amazing. Washington. No, it's Sa- it's in Sussex County. Oh. And you're talking about Warwick, buddy. Well, no, I'm talking about Georgetown. Georgetown. Well, this looks like something yes. off of like uh, Harry, Potter. Harry Potter. Yeah. University of Chicago. Oof, it's just this. This, this is, what, is a what, this is what democracy looks like, and they have a yelling bullhorn. Yeah, I wow. think things have escalated since this picture was taken. Yes. So, uh, Chicago had mad ri- like teen riots this weekend. This is so dumb. There's like a mm-hmm. video going around of like like kids just beating up a random woman, teenagers yeah. just beating her up. Chicago. Mm-hmm. I think raiding Walmart. They they Northwestern and- Northwestern University, seventy six thousand Brown University. 76,000. That's where I was going to go to college. Dartmouth. Dartmouth. That's where I was doing pre-med. Tufts. Yeah. Tufts. 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 Man. University of Southern California, USC, yeah. 77. That is number four. 77,000. Film and photography. That's Amherst. where all the TikTokers go. University of Pennsylvania. Really? Really? Is that yeah. Ivy League? I think that's Ivy League. Yeah. 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 Um, And then number one, Harvey Mudd College. Harvey Mudd. Literally Harvey Mudd no. is California's most expensive college. The school in Claremont costs students $77,339 per year. That said, about 70% of Harvey Mudd students receive some kind of financial aid. Yeah, but what do they they're study still, there? I think they're all... That's such a waste of money. I yeah. should have I should have guessed that the most expensive school Look at this in person with a shirt on that y'all. says y'all. Like, you seven. don't belong there, boy. What I wonder that? if you yeah, can, can you that. fake your way through... Yeah. College? Yeah, you know, like these people colleges. do it all the time. I've done it through life. Yeah. <laughs> you think like through these colleges? Same thing. Yeah. yeah. Look, yeah. I I'm gonna talk about the debt. number of people. That's insane. Fifty. I mean, at the low in mean, the low end of this list, fifty-two thousand people. There are thirty something odd thousand people in Caroline County. That means in the in this this property, it's like you, whoever's making that. <laughs> it's it's yeah. me. Sorry. <laughs> That's just insane. That's a lot of people. It's a lot of people, dude. Um, student loan debt progression average. In 2007, there was 18,000 people with student loan debt. 18,233. <laughs> Thank you for getting um, that right. He screwed it up. I can't so, so read. In is that the average loan that people have in 2007? Um, I... I think, I think it's a, this is the average. The yeah, st- student loan it's, average. Yeah, total yeah. loans. The average student... At graduating college has thirty seven thousand dollars in student loans. That's after their grants, and even for like Veritas, I qualified for student aid. Like I had, I had because it's accredited, so I got a lot of aid, right? And I I applied for scholarships, and so I got a lot mm-hmm. of that paid for, and then I worked and paid the rest. 
envision what was vision like? I don't know what seventy four hundred a year or something. No, Cam. Respect <laughs> on the name. It was seven thousand seven hundred seventy seven dollars. <laughs> <laughs> what is that for real? That's seven for real. seven seven. It changed now, but it was really cool. <laughs> really, <laughs> no, but it was really cool. It changed. I don't know it's what so it is funny. now, but that's what it started at. Seven thousand seven hundred seven thousand. Has inflation hit vision? It well, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> they bumped we it up to twelve. He owns a cow in a thousand hills, but uh, <laughs> now it's just now it's just eight thousand new beginnings. How yeah. many people go to college and don't graduate? <laughs> One. Le- less than half of college students graduate on time. Uh, Cam over here is five pushing, squeezing four years into five. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, boy. Um, less than half of college students graduate on time. Even That's after so six years, crazy. I know that you're spending that much money. Join hey, Here's no an extra. Right. Well, that's so that so much time out of your adult listen, life. Listen, you listen, could listen. really be getting. Ahead. There was a student that we went to college with, mm-hmm. and great people, but I still don't get what they did. Here's what happened. I started college with these people. Okay. 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 I was not a full time student. So my bill was not seven thousand seven hundred and seventy seven. It was, was three thousand three hundred and you were off campus too, so it was I was like off a campus less. and it wasn't whatever. So these this person was in school at them at them for right three years. Do you know who he's talking about? Yeah. yeah. Listen, for three years and four months, five months. So they at least had Oh, they had over twenty one thousand, twenty two, twenty three thousand dollars of money that they had spent, and just out of nowhere, in about March of this senior year, going to graduate in about a month two, he quit, eloped with another student, out of the blue, gone, didn't mm. get the degree. Where are they now? He's, yeah. he's, he's on the podcast. <laughs> Welcome, Harry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> again, sorry, Reece. again. That is break it to you one way or another. I don't know where they're at, and they, these were good. Like they're, I'm not saying they're bad people now, yeah. but I, I don't. What are you saying, Cam? You I'm saying if they listen to this, I w- I mean, I consider myself still their friend. It was mm-hmm. just kind of random. Mm-hmm. I have no say in what they do, but they just. They just it's left. Wild that you would spend That's that my point. much money. I, and I was not like, have I was anything like, to show for and it. And there was no sign of their relationship. And if from our view, it was like, why, why couldn't you be with this person? It wasn't like a. It wasn't like a thou shalt not. Well, I, yeah. it might have been from their family, but mm-hmm. it wasn't like a bad thing. You, you know what I mean? It's like, oh yeah, well, if you should have just told us you liked him and you liked her, we would have been fine with it. Why didn't you just wait for a month? Get your degree and then do what you want. Yeah, like practically, sin. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, if they elope, technically they're married. Yeah. Yeah. But my point is... They're greeless, though. <laughs> so, <laughs> and it's just like, you spend all that money Grant, for nothing. Yeah, yeah Grant, that's, that's not a credit. It, it, and the, but my also, point like, is, you're throwing okay, away. why did you just throw it all away where... If you hid this love for three years, why couldn't you wait until graduation and then do what you want? Get your degree. Your bill's literally paid. Maybe she. Maybe they didn't have their bill paid off. <laughs> and that's why they, they couldn't left. afford it. Oh yeah, that would have been smart. <laughs> no, but do you understand that, what I'm that, saying? Like, okay, so I, to me, the guy and the girl, I, I'm not being smart. They they were great people. And then they just all of a sudden like, hey, did you hear? Like what? Oh, they looked like. Why? Why didn't they just say, "Hey, we like each other. We're gonna get married after school." I don't. I don't get it. I'm sure there's a ton underneath the surface. Right. And right, right, right. Their families. Yeah, but, 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 but all of that stuff aside. Yes. To spend that much money, and have and nothing to show for it. I mean, yeah. that's also like a super cheap college. Yeah, oh, it's yeah, dirt cheap. Imagine dude. these people are yeah, like, yeah, people, less dirt than half cheap. Yeah. Less I'm than saying half seven thousand at, at bare minimum seventy five hundred a year for three for four years. Mm-hmm. Bro, and over also, thirty like, grand. Also, I don't like, know how much not, they paid yeah. on their last bill, but what is four times seven thousand? Thirty thousand. Yeah, but also it's like not even that. It's you're in class. It's not like you're just oh, I'm just gonna work sixty hours and make a whole bunch of money. Then. Right. Like that, that's you're losing money. Yeah, you would have been just easier if you're gonna do all that. Just work sixty hours overtime. 
collect money for right. the next four years and you would have been Emphasis off. on the word losing because it's not like you're spending it because if you're spending it, that implies you're getting something for your money. Right. They're using this money. Blowing the money, yeah. And not and again, getting anything. There's a good chance that person might hear this and I am really not... Uh, it is what it is, honestly. That's what happened. They're still together. Yeah, that's what happened. So well, I, I'm saying on the on the... They didn't finish college. They didn't get their degree. That just it's to me seems like a waste. But yeah. Anyways, yeah, it says. But here it's like it said. I think it caught a bit of it. No, I don't six is like what after six years. There's like something on the notes that Kayla had. I'm waiting for it to pop up on the TV. There it is. Uh, yeah. Even after six years, less than sixty percent of students at four-year colleges have earned a bachelor's degree. Six years. Oh, that's Michael Smith. So if you spend two extra years, <laughs> that's for you, Michael. <laughs> So there are there are Oof. people. Much love. What'd you say? <laughs> I'm gonna. Oof. What'd you say? Don't worry about it. One of our friends. I love you, Michael. <laughs> no, just give me one. Okay, moving on then. So you spend two extra years and you still don't graduate. Seriously. Yeah. The, the track, track record. record. Go ahead, that's David. less than sixty percent. That's still like that's a half. Essentially. Yeah. The track record for community colleges is even worse, with less than 20% of community college students earning an associate's degree or certificate. That's... Um, Wait, read what, one more time. So, uh, community college, less than 20% of people graduate with an associate's degree. That's insane. That's crazy. I don't you can tech, that. like, so Virginia, um, not Virginia Tech, Del Tech. Del Tech you, you get can, two years you, for free. Dude, you can go two years to Del Tech if you graduate in Delaware. <laughs> Yeah. For free. Two years free. You so graduated high school in, in Delaware. You're you stupid. go to Dell Tech two years for free. You're stupid and you just if you don't blow do it. your gen eds out of the way. I did. Yeah. And, and, the, and, the, <laughs> and the problem, the thing is, any community college, you can literally get so much financial help, financial aid. I mean, but the, the only thing you need to go to college for, guys, I'm not being smart, business, okay, whatever. Go for business. You should go to college for accounting. Okay. You should go to college uh, for not. Who is our call? You your call? Yeah, Ellie. Yeah. No, no, not Ellie. Annie, like Annie? the orphan. Annie. Annie. Um, she you should. Fine. Go, you should go to college for some. She's in things, jail now. But <laughs> there are so many things like these people are graduating with a liberal arts degree, and you so know she, philosophy. She, what is theory. that? Yeah. What is that? What do you use it for? One, there was um, all these people graduating from school and saying, "I can't find a job, and I'm a hundred grand in student debt." Go to school to be a doctor. How yep. about that? Yeah. That would be helpful. There That's was um, pay a friend of dollars to be like, "I have a degree in 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 popsicle houses." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> but uh, a friend like, of my mom, total expert. Watch her. Uh, her <laughs> wife, she's younger. Her fiance, no, now husband, worked at Amazon, and his manager. Was like okay, you know, you're making like six figures at Amazon being a manager there, and he's like, you know, hey, you know, he's he had a it was a a black guy, a black gay guy actually, and it's like, hey, you know, obviously you sound like a checking southern draw, yeah, checking all the boxes, yeah, the mm. southern draw. He's like, obviously you're not <laughs> around from here, Jersey, um, where are you from? He's like, oh, you know, uh, South Carolina, and then he's like, so how did you end up here? He's like, oh well, I had a you know, what did you study? I was like, oh, I did uh, I did dance. <laughs> and he's like so and he's like what? so why are you here in Amazon uh, because it doesn't pay <laughs> yeah that's you can the get point a, that's you, the point right there you can get so a you just degree went through big, big yes. fat money grab yes yeah, yeah, so you just went through words. four usually, years of it comes college from. for a degree that's useless useless look up does uh, Harry We'll get to it later. Like performing arts. Look up how much student loan forgiveness was just done. I forget how much. I think it was like a couple billion, 16 billion or something. Yeah. All right. So here's what it says. Here we go. Ready? Um. Um. The track record community college. Blah, blah, blah. Here's some famous people who didn't go to college. Are you ready? Famous people who didn't go to college. Uh, Josh Bill Gates. Saddles. Pastor Clark. Bill Gates. Oh, Steve, Steve Jobs. Jobs. The co-founder of Apple and one of the most successful entrepreneurs of our time. He dropped out of Reed College after one semester. Bill Gates should Wasn't be Wasn't Reed well. College on that list? Maybe. Uh, it was. Uh, it was on that list. He dropped out. Steve yeah, Jobs. That's why he's dead. Gonna, what are you going to teach To be fair, Steve I think Jobs. he paid off his loans. He might be past that. Yeah. Huh? He's dead now. But um yeah, he gone. So nothing. R.I.P. Steve. 
All right, here we go. Steve really did a great. It's a shame. Gates. That there all the is. Apple products are like ranked I know, as the world's like, like, richest person. I just think about it all the time. Ranked as the world's richest person from '95 to 2006, Bill Gates was a college dropout. He started a large. See, David, there you go. I knew that. I still watch the. Uh, <laughs> I knew that Bill Gates was on this list because he was, he was the excuse that. What is happening? What is that? It's, Sorry. It sounds like he's farting into the mic. It's, it's, like, it's look, look, like a look. neck crate. What is that? Never do that. I'm sorry. So uh, he was the every kid who wanted to drop out of school. Mm -hmm. And their mom and dad was like, you can't drop out of school. Bill Gates dropped out of school. He's the richest guy in the world. Does it mean that that's the system? (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, yeah. the exception proves the rule, dummy. Oprah Winfrey. She got a full scholarship to Tennessee State University. This is different. However, in her sophomore year, Oprah, I always want to say Oprah. Oprah Winfrey received a job offer. Did you say Okra? Uh, okra. Orpa. You, seriously, whatever that sound is, make it stop. Why does mine make more noise than everyone else's? No. Maybe because you're touching that? I don't know, dude, but that's got to stop. But also anything. here it says she received a job offer. So if you know what you're doing and you have an offer and you what you're pursuing, then why continue? Fair point. It's like, oh, she just said all of a sudden, I'm sick of the system. I'm leaving. Yeah. And she built it on her own. No, she got a job offer. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Somebody was that like, hey. does not count. Hey, nope. do you want to be rich and famous? And she was like, yeah. Yes. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. Hey. Do you want to stop I'm all actually, going to a, in the You going to a tech school? Hey, do you want a job at a construction place? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll drop. All right, cool. I'm done right. college. Ellen this DeGenerate. One. Uh, yep. Dropped out of the University geez. of New Orleans after less than a semester. I've never been impressed with that woman. Rachel Ray. Rachel Ray, the popular food personality, didn't go to college and has no formal culinary training. That makes oh, sense. that's crazy. She didn't even go to like she food can't cook. school. She didn't even go to crazy. cooking school. That's nuts. Dude. That's crazy. crazy. It's not actually nuts because she has never went to any type She's of school. Never cooked nothing for me. Not even a Walt home Disney. Ec class. Walt Disney. Is founder of the Walt Disney Company. Dropped, dropped out of high school. 16. At 16. To make cartoons. That's nuts. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. Jennifer Lawrence ended her formal education at 14. Really? <laughs> and is now one of the Which top. That can't be legal. Probably pursuing an act. Yeah. That can't be legal, Dude, though. it's because she's, she's probably in movies at that point. She was from Kentucky. So actors still is have she? to go to, like... No, you still like, gotta go to school. No, nah. whenever I find you're, out, you're not, a, dude, like she literally fraud your whole entire life. She talked about her Hick family from Kentucky all the time. I have friends from Kentucky. Yeah, I, she I, talks about her Hick family that she hates them and they're so conservative. That could have been like Brother Tony if you wanted. Does she? Direction. I don't think I've ever. It could have been like a Hollywood. <laughs> he has a college degree out in math. He's a no. Nah, I'm math saying guy. a Holly. He could have been a Hollywood star. Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren. Lauren. Is that the clothing people? Yeah. The founder of the hugely successful polo brand dropped out of the Baruch, Baruch. College in New York. After attending for just two years in high school, Ralph Lauren was known to sell neckties to his fellow students. So, so he already funny. he knew what he wanted. But yeah. also, in his yearbook, he stated he wanted to be a millionaire. Yeah. He's driven. Yeah. Like he you knew. You don't need he a college was, degree if hustling. you're driven. He was already hustling while he was in college. Mm-hmm. Yep. So it's like, all right. He knew what he, he he knew what he was after. Notice none of these people are lazy. Here's some random facts: Harvard, Stanford, and Princeton, unsurprisingly, are America's toughest colleges to get into. 2023, according to the niche 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 most niche. recent what number one college, Harvard. Harvard, richest college in America, Harvard oh. University, with a five fifty. Point nine billion endowment as of 2022 is the wealthiest university. I in the I, uh, I read somewhere that Harvard could pay the tuition for every single one of its students for life, and it like it <clears throat> wouldn't even make it that. Yeah, because it's only seventy seven thousand. Like yeah, a they, year. Yeah, they could pay for every single one of their yeah. students I mean, billions, full ride. Yeah, yeah. Like that's that's a lot. Oh, D- Harry, what was the what, what did Joe Biden just cancel? Dent. It was like six billion dollars loan forgiveness. So isn't that nice? You, you guys who didn't go to college have to pay for the people's degrees who did go to college and now don't have jobs to pay their degrees. Yeah, no doubt. They're all at Starbucks. 
Yeah, dude, it's a literal... Which I don't even go to, so I don't even benefit yeah. from that. It's robbery. Ow. It's robbery. What do you need college for? David? Nothing. What do you need college for? What do you but need just pra- yeah. college it's, for? What should you... Give oh, me five medi- reasons medical you lawyer. should go to college. Five different... Medical or lawyer. Five th- f- five professions that you can't do without. Doctor. Doctor one. Lawyer. Two. Rocket builder. Three. I was like an engineering degree. Or like some type of tech... Yeah, I feel like tech schools are where it's at. Tech schools. I, mean, I didn't mean technical. I meant like. I'm technology. saying like when you learn yeah. how to so reprogram a computer, mm-hmm. or you literally are a scientist. So we'll put that under the umbrella of IT. So we IT. got doctor, IT. doctor, lawyer, lawyer, rocket builder, I, rocket IT. builder, IT, engineer, dance instructor. <laughs> <laughs> um, you have to art. Drawing. I mean, I guess teaching. Teaching would be a good like, thing. Like graphic school, but even teaching. then. Right, because I, I would prefer. It'll do art. Well, my mom went to teaching college is for one of those things where it's like. It's bless helping. God, look where it bless her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big old working for Walt. Yeah, Uncle Walt. Uncle Walt. Now, mechanic school, like Dell Tech has. So, so do you, did you guys like used to get to Disney for like you could go to Disney for free? Yeah, my dad, when my, my dad lived, lived in Florida. When he was working for Disney, we just go to Disney all the time. You with us, Dustin? Dude, that's no. crazy. Yeah. And you People know. are like, oh, I can't wait to get Disney. I'm like, it's kind of been there, done <laughs> yeah. I've, I, I would just scoff been. at I would just scoff at the kids' American dream. <laughs> <laughs> you you peasant <laughs> poor kids. <laughs> like, I've never been there. I've only been to Florida once. I've never been to Disney either. So yeah, there's not I can't think of a whole I mean, obviously there are there's a reason for college. Uh, I can't think of any reason why it's as why is it pushed so much? Pushed and it's as big a deal as we make it. Yeah, no, as big of a deal all. as we make it. If you wh- listen, you there's a, some statistic and I forget what it is. I think it's just something people say. If you start working construction or HVAC or plumbing or or carpenter, it's a plumber. It's a plumber. If you start, if you start now, at, right now, out at eighteen versus a medical doctor. Yes. The only point will they're actually going to make more money than you, like where like the curves like upwards is at age fifty. Isn't that insane? As far as if you start doing, because like they a have plumber, student loans. Yep. You're and if you're investing, you're a plumber, and you're working. And and a, so a, a even, doctor is in school for ten years. They mm-hmm. don't even they don't even pass you until so ten 50. years. They're not making money until their eighth year. Yeah, because your residency. Now they might get grants mm-hmm. to pay for their food, lodging, and that's whatever. if you're like how success like how successful of a doctor. They're saying that's an doing. average, like a hundred, like okay, six figures. So they are all right. Eighteen doctor, you, you go to doctor school. Ten. 10 years of schooling. 20, like, so, yeah, 28. So, so you're 28 when you are a doctor. The plumber has been making, have been starting out at 40 grand a year at 18. Mm-hmm. Right. And then he's up to, in 10 years, he's got his also, journeyman's. Like, he's got his master. And he is smart, now making 75 to 80,000 a year. Now here's a serious question. In for, for 10 years. Between a plumber and a doctor, which job is grosser? Depends on what uh, field Pro- you're in. Depends have nothing yeah. to do with it, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Unless they're getting flushed down the toilet. Yeah. Both, both could be dealing with plumbing. <laughs> but uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, doctors would be seeing some gross stuff. D- yeah. Doctors for sure. It's got to be so disgusting because right? plumbers. Yeah. It's only because you're working once on in a blue moon. This guy's it, medical. You have gone. to work on everything. You have to do your your cadavers. You have to work on everything. When I was a uh, when I lived in Connecticut. No, I'm I'm thankful that. Doctors go to school. Yeah, like I want somebody. I'm also thankful that plumbers do, like plum. Yeah. <laughs> plus, plus God, the plumber yeah. as well. Let, the plumber let me be honest with you. I've used plumbing plumbing in my plum, house plum. a whole lot more than I've been to the doctor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah. so, <laughs> so that's what they say is that, right. yeah. What do you want for me? That realistically, you want a practical sense of like, Yes, they'll make money in the long term, but it's not until you're 50. Yeah. And at that point, like, what are Is you going to do with that? Yeah, your prime's gone. Yeah. You have bad you go knees. Go cruise. But no, so, um, <laughs> what I was saying is I worked at Robex, and I worked with this guy named Kevin, and he was, um, he wanted to be a police officer, and they were telling him to get, like, a, to take, like, this EMT course. Mm-hmm. And so he was taking this EMT course, 
And he brought one day to work. He brought his um, like his book, like his textbook to study, right? And um, I was scarred for life because I just like we're working or whatever. I walk over by where the, the counter where his book was sitting, and I just flip it open to a random page, and I saw some of the most horrific pictures that I have ever seen. In my life, like the very like first trauma thing, incidents. Yeah, the very first thing I saw was a degloved hand, just in the textbook. Just a regular hand, then. Yeah. With a glove off. It's like when they With, take the hand yeah. off. <laughs> it's like so. My hand right now, <laughs> degloved. Yeah. yeah. Stop it! You're scaring them. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying? <laughs> D gloves. So, so basically, he's playing in the snow so. without gloves, and his hands are red. <laughs> <laughs> it was disgusting. So it was just a. It was a. It was a forearm. It was a. It was a hand, uh-huh. and the skin was like, oh, this was like degloved off of his hand. <laughs> oh. <laughs> say a skinless hand. Yeah, well, the book said degloved, so I said degloved. <laughs> and right next to it, right next to it was a guy whose we- whose wedding wedding ring did the same thing yeah. on his finger. Like his, it off. got caught, and it like it was like all it bunched up at the end of his. Finger. You fingered. <laughs> it was the disgusting, thing, bro. Un- him. Unwrapped was hand. <laughs> nasty. And I went, I went, Kevin, this is disgusting. And he goes, that's not even the worst part. Do you want to see the, the really nasty stuff? And I went, no. Yeah. <laughs> de- de- de-legged. <laughs> de-headed. Yeah. Nasty. De- de-masked. <laughs> de-masked. Bro, you haven't, bro. De-socked. You haven't. <laughs> <laughs> they, have, they have just a scalping guy. <laughs> Native American garb. <laughs> What was that noise? Uh, oh, it was like a, some oh, some type of turkey. Oh, 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 oh. that's what you didn't. Ah. It was the most half-hearted. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. We didn't do that this year. Um, but <laughs> there's a lot of comments there on it. And you new mana. You you sucked. <laughs> yeah, bro, it was gross. Deep pants. Go ahead, Google. It. Google. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Deep pants. laughs> <laughs> and we're just calling he's getting skinned like the piece of clothing that would go on de-shirted. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just that's what the book the book said. How did that gloved. happen? I it didn't how say do you, like, how it was just I feel like it people was like who picture. shake my hand are in danger of that because sometimes it's just grip them up. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Here, get them dust in here. Got them calloused hands. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <de-gloved. laughs> it happens primarily when people are driving. They'll have their hand out the window, and they'll it'll catch like a mirror of an oncoming car or a mailbox. You or would something. actually know the reason <laughs> why. Why do you? He know wakes that? up from his sleep. He's like, <laughs> this man just woke up from, like a, from a nap to tell That's us a why. Common, a common occurrence. Uh, <laughs> how does that happen? When you're like people driving in a car, they'll have the arm out the window. It'll catch something. So you can't do mailbox like the- mirror or whatever. <laughs> hey, hey, my glove! That's just- <laughs> Why you do you? So know you that? shouldn't do like the the uh, hand in the wind. And it just takes the skin right off your hand. Just mm-hmm. slaps it off. Yeah, yeah I mean it kind of like meets here, you know. So if it, your hand hits yeah, something, like it a, catches it. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, I've never seen the threading there. It's like unzips. Zipper, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, the right stitching's there. really it's really fine <laughs> stitching. Yeah. It's so it's just, whack. <laughs> Someone's a little kid's on their bike. No, it's like it's like that. a pants seam, dude. Once that pants seam comes off, it just fl- the whole now, thing falls off. <laughs> kids are, la, 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 la. Now with that knowledge, Dustin, how often do you ride with your hand out the window? Never. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure signs are required to be far off the road, like enough to not hit them. Because I I've definitely been driving and thought I bet you I could slap that sign. You know well, what that's I mean? what you thought? Yeah. So okay. I bet you I could slap that sign, but it's always too far. Um, Cause I've tried. Every time I see somebody driving down the road with their hand out the window, I'm always like, "Could I high five? Could I high five that guy?" If you got close I enough th- and they did, just like, then you'd both be degloved, but like your hands would be <laughs> like, <laughs> "What if like I? What if it's I like a black five? guy and a white guy?" <laughs> What and if they I, drive down the road and they slap hands and they swap. Swap. Uh, swap what, if I, what if I high five the guy and then I was like, oh man, I can't believe I pulled that off and I pull my hand back in. I'm just holding his. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Just like holding his just hand. Like, <laughs> Who would be at fault? Oh, we need to wrap this up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're done. But uh, I'm done. We Hour 44. I would just say real quick. Um, I feel like the average person who goes to college is being set behind the eight ball 
of life. The rest of their life. <laughs> I'm saying like you have all that. All right. What is the, the average person I work with? I had two people at FedEx who had marine biology degrees who they, I'm their boss. They can boss. only go to a college and teach that. I had yeah, a friend. And they're not using it at all. But my thing is, okay, you're going to drown yourself in student debt. You're going to work a job you hate or you're just dying yeah. in your field to pay off that student debt into your 30s where you're going to be, you know, renting and like living paycheck to paycheck. Yeah. Like you're not you doing anything. They have their credit shot. They have to rent, like you said. Right. And the, where do you go to get a marine biology job? I had a friend. You uh, go to a college well, and I had, teach. I had a friend. People go to college to learn something that they can only teach in that college. I have right. a friend, or had a friend. We're not friends studies. anymore. His name's Mike Lee, and he was a marine biologist, and he worked for NASA. That's cool. Was he driven? Uh, sure. Yeah. But the majority. Gen- the average like person. Gender studies. Like, the, what is that? The last I talked to him was years and years ago. He was taking a pod down to, like, the bottom of the ocean yeah. to... To yeah. study. Like, I have two cousins who did, like, uh, a cousin and her fiance who did engineering. They're married now, and they're, their house is huge. Yeah. But as far as most people, like, working for yeah, they did college. You're not doing anything with it, though. Dustin, take Headphone us out. Warning. Take us out, Dustin. Headphone warning. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait oh before before we go before we go i uh we're just hitting our stride on this college thing <laughs> uh before we wrap this up i um <laughs> i got bored yesterday oh no i'll do it david okay i got bored yesterday uh, i don't have it on my messages I can send it to my messages if you want it's connected to the board uh i can't because i did it from my computer why are you that way because so I uh, I got bored yesterday, and Dustin, you're going to wake up for this. All right. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I made I made two new sound bites for Cameron to put on the soundboard of how the, many Dustin two two <laughs> on um, that that here's the first one here's okay. the first one right here play it overflow so. I don't know if we're ever going to use that, but... I don't know, I don't know but... I will use it. Overflow. 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 And then uh, I did this one as well. <laughs> you did not create me to So... No, he did. <laughs> that's, oh. that's what we're going to do, man. You created me to gritty. <laughs> that's very, very cringy, as the kids would say. <laughs> Gritty. There, there it is. Ugh. If you uh, if you get this YouTube video up to s- sixty likes, we're gonna put out a YouTube short of Cameron doing the gritty. Amen. Oh well. Are we? Yeah. It can be you doing it, and I'll just crop my face on you. True. Sixty likes, and Cameron's doing <laughs> the gritty. What does sixty likes mean? So the age of people David. like our YouTube video. I don't care about likes. I want subscribes. Well, two hundred. All right, Dustin. If we get to when we get to two hundred subscribers, Dustin. Cameron's gonna do the gritty. All right, Dave, take us out. Yeah, hit it. Don't go to college. <laughs> yeah. And get saved instead. My dad didn't go to college either. Kanye was a college dropout, I think. Was he? I don't know. All right. It tracks. It tracks. The Bible says. Gritty not. In Ephesians <laughs> chapter number two, in verse number one, it says, And you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. And then if you jump down to verse number eight, it says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Uh, you can't work your way to heaven. No matter how good you think you are, no matter how good you try to be, it can't be done. Um, I'm getting a little nervous with the salt gun. I am too. <laughs> but yes. God God <laughs> paid the price. Jesus came to this earth in the flesh, paid the price, lived <laughs> a perfect salty. life, and died for your sins. He was buried, and he rose again the third day. Uh, and in Galatians chapter number 2, 
Verse number 21, it says, I do not frustrate the grace of God, for if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. Don't let Christ's death be in vain in your life. Amen. He died for your sins. Accept the gift of salvation. If you have any questions, please email in at calmdownitsfine at gmail.com or hit us up on the socials. All the links and, and stuff will be in the description below. Uh, if you would like to buy a t-shirt, go to cdiffmerch.com. Also, email in with any of your college stories if they're funny watch me like bruise easily and have like a just a giant mark <laughs> buy a shirt <laughs> like a buckshot they're spread. $19.99 yep oh he's back like subscribe if you want a cheaper than a college degree a shirt yeah $4.99 a month support on YouTube give us five star reviews all the things all, all, the, all, of, all the things there is the last one go <laughs> abuse sea animals Go abuse sea and if you have yeah. and if you have forty thousand dollars of college Inland. debt, calm down. Just stop having <sighs> debt. Yeah. We out. All right, Dustin, right for take All two. Right, All right, episode two. Let's go. You are a funny, funny man. I would leave. <laughs>